My name is Wen Tu Tui, and that means autumn water. The name my parents gave me seems to be my destiny as the presence of water and waves appears throughout my art. I love the movement and the power of waves. They model the constant flow of creative energy that guides my life. The fluidity of water is an Eastern Feng Shui concept that reflects continuous, fresh creativity. Tu Tui's images of water express her love for water. This Hanoi woman laid the foundation for public art in Hanoi using a style that combines national, historic, and modern elements with clay and porcelain materials. It is unique and the first of its kind in Vietnam. Flowing through Tang Long, Hanoi, for thousands of years the Red River has brought the culture of water to the city. The Great River's irrigation system is attached to the dike walls and covered in dark green plants. At the end of the 20th century, the soil dikes were masked by concrete walls running through the very heart of the city. Two events in Tu Tui's life led her to the concept of the ceramic road. The archaeological excavations at Tang Long Imperial Palace in 2003 gave an inkling that she needed to represent these ancient subjects. Tui was deeply touched by the dragon heads of the Li Chan dynasties. The detailed decoration of the 11th century terracotta spoke to her. Tu Tui saw a flow of history through the heart of the capital from the time of Dong Sun on through the dynasties of Li, Chan, Lei, Nguyen. In 2006, Tu Tui won the Prize B in the National Journalism Contest for a series of articles on the tangible and intangible cultural heritage of Vietnam, and was thus awarded a scholarship to attend a two-month course at the Inwent International Press Center in Berlin. Tui took advantage of the opportunity to spend weekends visiting cities across Europe, Paris, Rome, Athens, Barcelona, Brussels, Copenhagen, Frankfurt, Dresden, Malmo, and the list goes on. She soaked in everything she could approach and was impressed in particular with the mosaic work of architect Antony Gaudi in Barcelona. Gaudi's work took Tui's inkling and inspired her to apply her ceramics to a public space. When Tu Tui returned to Hanoi, she wrote the project Ceramic Road Along the Red River, a present for 1,000-year-old Tang Long Hanoi. After three outdoor exhibitions demonstrating the sustainability of the ceramic material, Tu Tui and her new Hanoi Arts Company were given permission by the Hanoi authorities to develop the ceramic road. Representing water and culture, the symbols in the ceramic originated from the patterns of the Dung Sun drum, which illustrates boats on the water, representing the continuation of the cultural flow, the flow of water, the flow of the Red River. 
Initiated at the end of 2007, the Ceramic Road Project was completed in October 2010. With the help of Vietnamese and international artists, organizations, and enterprises, including the Hanoi Fine Arts Association and the Vietnam Fine Arts Association, Nguyen Tu Thuy successfully implemented the Ceramic Road Project along the Red River to mark the occasion of the 1,000th anniversary of Tang Long, Hanoi. More than 700 people took place in the creation of the ceramic wall, including 20 Vietnamese painters, 100 artisans and craftsmen, 15 international artists from 10 countries and four continents, 50 art students, 500 Vietnamese, and international children. Nguyen Tu Thuy designed the images in the ceramics of the ancient art treasures of Vietnam, and according to the historical flow from Dung Son through the Li, Chen, Le, and Nguyen dynasties. Included are brocade patterns of the decorations of the 54 ethnic groups native to Vietnam, architectural and cultural symbols of the Tang Long Hanoi with the writing Tang Long Hanoi 10,010 to 2010, the ceramic painting titled Tang Long Impression at the bridge over Chuang Zong, peach blossoms and the lotus, and the waves under Long Bien Bridge. At the foot of the 116-year-old Long Bien Bridge that saw its creation during French colonialism is a symbol of water, the Red River, Long Bien Bridge, and ceramic mosaic mural symbolize a perfect harmony. On the morning of October 5, 2010, the formal inauguration of the Ceramic Road along the Red River took place. Legal Director of Guinness World Records, Ms. Patrice Garcia Fernandez, awarded the official title for the largest ceramic mosaic mural in the world to Nguyen Tu Thuy and Hanoi City. The website of the Guinness World Records, Inc. announced the world record mural at a length of 3,850 meters and a total area of 6,950 square meters. Although many people helped with the creation of the ceramic road, there was one person in particular who Tu Thuy felt deserved special recognition. Someone who could not attend the ceremony and share the stage. Someone who could not even witness the ceramic road's creation that person is Anthony Gaudi. 
Present for the ceremony was a diverse assembly of guests. In addition to artists from Vietnam and Spain, embassies of the home countries to all the artists who participated in the creation of the Ceramic Road sent representation by their ambassadors themselves, including Spain, Denmark, and the Netherlands, Britain, France, and Italy, and Argentina and Panama. Companies and organizations who sponsored the creation of the Ceramic Road were also in attendance, including the Ford Foundation, the Art Action, the UNESCO Hanoi, and ILO. In order to honor this veteran and legend of ceramic creation, the renowned artist herself assembled a ceramic mosaic portrait of the late Gaudi. And as only one city would be fitting to host such a portrait, Tutui, with three artists from the New Hanoi Arts Company, flew to Barcelona. A ceremony must be had. With everyone present and with the help of Louis Lambert, the Spanish artist from Madrid who participated in constructing the ceramic road, and Nana Corota, an art critic from Barcelona, Tutui presented the portrait to the Casa Mila, constructed by Gaudi himself in the early 20th century. The people of Hanoi are proud of the ceramic road, the honors it has received, and the impressive record that it holds. And they have further reason to be proud, because the record for longest ceramic mosaic mural in the world is about to be broken by Tutui herself as she plans to extend the ceramic road to new lengths. Tai Nguyen is famous for its tea and the Tai Nguyen tea and teapot helped preserve Vietnamese tea culture in the northern Midlands, which eventually spread to the whole country bringing the pleasure of drinking tea to Vietnam. From July to October 2011, based on the proposal by Tu Thuy, the Tai Nguyen Department of Culture, Tourism, and Sports, plus the New Hanoi Arts Company, implemented the formation, construction, and sculpture of the ceramic teapot at Ten Quang. On November 11, 2011, Many ambassadors and other prominent guests attended the inauguration ceremony where the Tai Nguyen City and New Hanoi Arts Company received a certificate for the largest ceramic teapot with a height of 3 meters and a diameter of 4.5 meters with three teacups, each one meter tall. The giant pot and cups rest on a ceramic teapot. The teapot accentuates the green foliage of Tan Quang tea plantations and has become a major attraction tourists and visitors alike. Tôi đã rất mong muốn là tiếp tục mang cái chất liệu gốm xứ này phát triển ra các công trình khác. In July 2011, I had the idea to create the Spratly Island flag. I wanted to make something people from around the world could view. Luckily, the flag is big enough to be viewed by visitors via Google Maps. In addition to the work on the national flag, four artists, Nguyen Zuan Sun, Pham Viet Hong Lam, Hui Viet Zuan, and Nguyen Tu Thuy completed four ceramic murals on two walls. Tu Thuy designed the ceramic mosaic mural titled Spratly Islands in the heart of the country that represents the long history of the Vietnamese people's relationship to the Parcel Islands and Spratly Islands. Represented in the mural are the Temple of Literature, One Pillar Pagoda of Hanoi, Tian Mu Pagoda of Hue, Mi Son Chapel, Nha Rong Harbor, and the Ho Chi Minh Monument in Ho Chi Minh City. The 
images of the Dong Sun boat represent the history of building and protecting the country since the Hung King's dynasties. In September 2011, at the invitation of the mayor of soissy le roi painter Nguyen Thu Thuy traveled to France and submitted the proposal of a ceramic painting celebrating the 40th anniversary of the 1973 Paris Agreement to be held in March 2013. The image held by Tu Tui was to create a background using two soft ribbons representing two rivers flowing through two countries, Vietnam and France. The painting depicted President Ho in 1969 and the delegation of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam standing in front of the Maurice Torres building in soissy le roi in 1968, the scene of the signing of the 1973 Paris Agreement. Comrade Le Zuan Thuy and Mayor Fernand Dupuy were happy with the results of the negotiation. Besides the historical references, painter Tu Thuy brought into the mural specific architectural images of the two cities. From Hanoi, the role of dragons in the Li Dynasty and the bronze and ceramic brown flowers in the Chan Dynasty. From Boulanger, typical 20th century porcelains famous to that city. The picture Tu Tui created depicts similarities between the two cities, being that rivers flow through the heart of each and that each city holds an age-old tradition of ceramics. To create this large ceramic mosaic picture, Tu Tui combined three techniques, mosaic, embossed, and printed enamel on heavily fired ceramics. Friendship between two ceramic cities was the gift of Hanoi to soissy le roi on the 40th anniversary of the signing of the 1973 Paris Agreement. The picture is formally mounted in soissy le roi Town Hall. <laughs> Hanoi has many rivers and lakes. In particular, the West Lake and Chukbok Lake are appreciated by local people and visitors alike. To express my love for Hanoi, I created a ceramic heart. It is my hope that this public work of art will not only honor the landscape, but also bring a sense of joy to the people of Hanoi and our visitors. The heart of Hanoi is shaped by a sculpted block, creating a sense of freedom and harmony with nature that is simple, strong, and modern. The word Hanoi is skillfully nestled in the heart using the logo of Hanoi. The bright colors of the ceramic glaze, including red, cobalt blue, yellow, orange, and green, bring a cheerful and optimistic visual effect meant to be inviting with the four ceramic chairs placed around it. Additionally, the pottery mural depicts the lotus blossom and flowers with flying wings, reminiscent of the beauty of the West Lake. Millions of small ceramic pieces skillfully portray the rich colors of the lotus and its leaf, the lake and the sky. On the front and back of the heart are nearly 200 pictures representing the landscape and people of Hanoi, architectural works, and historical events. The lotus has become the national symbol of Vietnam. 
The Lotus of West Lake, Hanoi, has been the inspiration throughout thousands of years of literary history. Wow, memories. I was born and raised in Hanoi, and I remember visiting West Lake as a child. My favorite memories were the summer lotus blossoms on West Lake's fragrant lagoon. My mom told me stories of poets who lived and wrote poetry there. Maybe it was those stories that inspired me, or maybe it was just the same thing that inspired them, the lake itself. Thinking of the lotus, I used steel wire to bend and shape its image. I finished a stylized lotus flower shaped with concrete petals, sculpted to create a sense of freedom. Millions of yellow mosaic ceramic pieces together create 18 blossoming petals. Observing the golden lotus as the water sprays high into the air from 20 fountains creates a sense of magic. In the evening, the entire piece is illuminated across a spectrum of reds, blues, and yellows. The atmosphere is color, and the focus is tranquility. The piece is honored by the presence of ancient trees of the flower garden, subjects far more perfect than any human could create. In 2014, Latte Construction Group invited five companies to participate in a design competition for the large walls on the 9th and 38th floors of the Hanoi Latte Tower. Tutui and the New Hanoi Arts Company were selected and Hanoi Spring on the 9th floor and Hanoi Autumn on the 38th floor were conceived. Guided into the pieces by images of women in Aozai, a traditional dress that embodies elegance and water, an observer will notice ancient and modern buildings, famous markets, the gate to an ancient citadel, dragons important to the ancient kingdom, and more important figures to Hanoi. Almost all of the subjects can be found around Hanoi and perhaps even the dragon to the bravest of explorers. Both murals display a panorama of tradition and beauty of ancient Hanoi and the modern day together and allude to the bright future of this city. Millions more ceramic tiles comprise these murals and Hanoi Spring is at the highest elevation of any mural in Hanoi. Da Nang, the coastal city of dreams. The sea, sunshine, and tropical grass bring a romantic beauty to this land. In March 2017, Tutui and four associates of Tanha Art Company transformed a large and imposing concrete pillar located at the international terminal of the Da Nang airport into a tall tree surrounded by bright flowers. To complete this work, they used industrial paint for the first time. Tutui, creator and director of the project, shared that the artist group would use acrylic paint in the interior spaces. Initially, there were no applications available for outdoor frescoes. Acrylic paint discolors in rain and sunlight. But, driven by the success of the transformed pillar, Tu Tui could not ignore her desire for outdoor frescoes at the airport. Therefore, when invited in November to beautify the airport of Da Nang to welcome the APEC 2017 conference, she came up with the idea of softening the outdoor concrete columns with species of flowers from tropical trees. Banana flowers, Strizalia, Reginae, and white jade flowers. 
The paint is made of an industrial material by Guard Industry. Its main function is to preserve the color and integrity of the painting from the sun's rays. In addition, it will protect the concrete and is stain resistant. Established in 2007, the 10th International Design Awards, IDA, took place on the evening of June 10, 2017, at the Architecture and Design Museum in Los Angeles. The IDA aims to discover, honor, and promote the vision of innovative design and the discovery of emerging talent in five areas, architecture, interior, product, graphics, and fashion. More than 1,000 works from architects and designers in 52 countries were submitted to the competition in 2017. Among the winning designs, Tutui and Hanoi's new painters were awarded several prizes. They earned the bronze medal for the mural painting, Tropical Garden of Vietnam, that decorates Da Nang Airport. Love Heart of Hanoi by Chuk Bak Lake received an honorable mention. Both works were submitted in the category of Designs for Society and the Environment. The inspiration for water and waves always resurfaces in the creative mind of Tu Tui. Water continues to be a powerful image in her work. The deteriorating mirror house inside Reunion Park in downtown Hanoi was recently renovated and decorated with ceramic mosaic murals by Tu Tui and her colleagues from the new Hanoi Arts Company. This is the fourth public arts work in large scale designed by Tu Tui in Hanoi and has recently received the silver medal for public arts design for society and the environment in the International A Design Competition in Italy. The Mirror House, or Laughing House, was built in 1979 with support from the former Czechoslovakian government. Formed in the shape of a large snail shell, it features 50 mirrors installed as a maze of optical deception. In 2016, the Mirror House could be found in a critical state of disrepair, with oxidized mirrors, leaking roof, and damp walls. Following Tutui's design and work proposal, Hanoi authorities supported the new Hanoi Arts Company to renovate the house and turn it into an artistic work engraved with ceramic mosaic designs. The ocean and the waves are ever present in the artistic thinking of Tutui. And she waits patiently for opportunities to express her creative thoughts. In this case, the form of the snail shell made the decision for sea life. and she does not shy away from hard work. Tutui is multi-talented, able to do construction, bricklaying, designing, organizing, and invests long hours as a skilled artisan directly into her work. She is tireless and always positive. Passion is at the heart of her creativity, which runs parallel to her energy. Ideas capture her imagination and demand to be released. Tutui dares to do what others might think impossible, all for the love of her city and for Vietnam.
Now, walking into the new mirror house, wanderers and visitors will find themselves upon a ground of colorful ceramic stones and pebbles, creating a sense of water beneath their feet with the flowing amorphous patterns. The tall, six meters tall in fact, inner walls are covered in mosaic murals showcasing a unique community of life in the sea. The inner side of the snail shell dome is covered in a painted mural that gives the sense of looking out into a beautiful ocean world from within a floating bubble. And that world is boundless, putting visitors within reach of large and colorful fish, coral, and other colorful creatures. Set above visitors' heads towards the surface of the water, are dolphins preparing to launch into the air and orca whales that are set to breach. But perhaps the most central character is the sea turtle, representing the beauty of its species and giving us all a reminder of why we must care for the ocean and do what we can to protect it. The entirety of the sea-dwelling community, in the paint and the ceramic, is set to inspire the minds of visiting children, the house's most important guests. This is, after all, like Tutui's other works, a creation to serve the community it is in. side reveals giant, majestic waves, vibrant and shimmering in the autumn light of Hanoi. The total ceramic area, inside and out, spreads over 812 square meters with more than 2 million small ceramic mosaic pieces. While it took artists only three months to engrave the ceramic fragments into the wall, it took over one year to prepare the pieces. This iconic work provides great refreshment, as art that serves the public, appealing to local people and visitors alike, is rare in Vietnam. However, relentlessly, project by project, Tu Thuy is breaking down those barriers. Finally, in January 2018, the Mirror House opened to the public and was visited by the ambassador of Czechoslovakia and his wife, and 40 members of the Friends of Vietnam Heritage. They left a bit more artisan themselves, after Tu Thuy walked them through the process of creation of the Mirror House from start to finish. Deep inside this artist is a romantic inspiration. She floats in a happy dance, twirls on a ceramic ocean. She glides on the magic palette of ceramic creations. The artist turns, rotates, and spins in the endless cycle of love for life. Tu 
Tutui runs along the ocean shore. Seawater, sun, and wind provide the artist with vast, endless inspiration. Wondrous creations ride on the back of great ideas. Sea waves can be calm or enormous, taking the artist to new heights step by step. With Tutui, as artistic creation is the driving force, art is the ocean and the painter is always swimming, diving into the endless flow to explore new shores. Shores are near and shores are far. Every shore the artist must reach. New ideas are constant inspiration. Powerful waves are added to this luminous painting. This ceramic work brings glory to Hanoi, the capital of water. Rising from the ocean, Tu Tui holds two paintings of the waves, symbols of the power of the sea. For Tu Tui, her entire life has focused on the power of water. Water cleanses, renews, brings resurrection, and new life. It bathes the ideas of Tutui, resulting in ever new 